So I've been asked uh, to uh, give a little bit of an idea of how we can use Tour Creator for education. If you're not familiar with Tour Creator, it is to create virtual tours. It's ideally meant with uh, 360 cameras. So you can uh, use it uh, as one of Google's uh, products to create a 360 degree view that you can look around and have things pointed out. If you've ever done the uh, 360 tours uh, that Google puts out, this is how you can create those. So uh, my wife and I uh, recently spent some time in Europe and this is uh, a tour I created of Auschwitz for students. Uh, each of these little points here has information. You can also drive to that information so you know exactly what you're looking for, looking at what you're seeing uh, within the tour. It's got multiple scenes and you can certainly look around with your mouse or if you have a 360 device of a headset that you can use that to look around. The building platform of it looks something like this where you can actually go in and edit what gets uh, typed into these uh, little uh, blocks here. You can add um, narration and you can also add ambient audio. audio. Uh, within these you can also create uh, images and also uh, narration just about that single point. So this can be very powerful for an education, especially if the student's doing a report. However, the problem is, is that what we're looking at is a 360 image and not all of our students have access to those sorts of cameras. So uh, I've, I've developed a different way to do this and that's to uh, begin by, by using a um, Google Drawing. So uh, this Google Drawing has a page set up with uh, an actual boundary, I'm gonna switch into pixels here, of 4096 by 2048. So this is two times the width and one time the height. And this gives me one big massive area that I can work within. The area at the top uh, will become an area of distortion. The area of the bottom will become an area of distortion, but they can actually put drawings and images at eye level. And I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, so here is um, a tour, and I'm just gonna pull up the, the published tour here, that when we look around within here, it actually is a drawing. So here is our uh, 360. We can see the area of distortion towards the top and towards the bottom. And yet we have this great area that it's about eye level that we can take advantage of to put things in there. So how do we get started? Well, uh, first of all, we, we want to identify uh, the, the page size of two times the width and one time the height. Our students can go ahead and put uh, their items of what they want in uh, right on that middle section. And I have a, a template that I'll post so you can access that template to provide to them. And once we go ahead and get it into the uh, tour itself, then from there, it's uh, just a matter of uh, dragging on a point of interest and placing it where we want. So I could place a point of interest here and uh, it gives me the ability to edit that. I can say nucleus uh, and I can describe it. I can even give some uh, audio and uh, I'll show you, I have uh, some images attached and those images can go in various places uh, that just moves the, uh, the actual little spot around. So if I move elsewhere, that center spot just gets moved around. Um, but they can play with this to create their own 360 tours that they can take a look at inside of a uh, 360 uh, Google Cardboard view of some sort. And this is Tour Creator for creating drawings. Really cool.